in the armed forces. Hi there! As we've been finding out, London is really important to the British Army, and today we're learning more about the two oldest regiments who together make up the Household Cavalry. The first regiment is the Lifeguards. The Lifeguards are the senior regiment of the British Army. They can date their history back to 1651, when a Royal Mounted Bodyguard was formed from 80 Royalists who had gone into exile with King Charles II, and so have a really long history of protecting the monarch. That's the King or Queen. The second regiment are the Blues and Royals, formed in 1969 from an amalgamation of the Royal Horse Guards and the Royal Dragoons. You can see the lifeguards and the Blues and Royals in their smart ceremonial dress every day on guard at Horse Guard and during big occasions like Trooping the Colour and state visits. So how do you tell them apart? Well, the plumes on their helmet for one, they are white for the lifeguards and red for the Blues and Royals. Then their tunics. Lifeguards wear red ones, Blues and Royals, well, there's a clue. They wear blue ones. Both wear metal breastplates, carry swords and have shiny black boots. In fact, soldiers compete to have the most polished boots of all. These outfits may be smart, but you have to remember that these guys are real soldiers. They won't be wearing plumes and saws when on operation. The Household Cavalry are experts in reconnaissance. This means they're the eyes and ears of the army, getting around in fast armoured vehicles. As such, they are at the forefront of Britain's military operations most recently in Iraq and Afghanistan. In addition to frontline action, many soldiers will also have been involved in disaster relief. Every cavalry soldier is first and foremost a fighting soldier. Their military training starts with a 14-week basic training course where they learn foot drill, how to handle a weapon and how to tackle an assault course. Having mastered basic military skills, they'll take their place in a passing out parade. It's then on to the mounted regiment. All soldiers attend a 12-week riding course at Windsor, where as well as learning to ride, they're taught how to care for their horse. After that, it's a four-week kit ride at Knightsbridge where they learn about the ceremonial equipment and how to ride in it. The Household Cavalry have two main bases, in Windsor and in London at their Knightsbridge Barracks. Now, as well as their bedroom and the mess, there's some other very special members of these regiments who need somewhere to sleep. Here's a clue as to who they are. Yep, you've got it. You probably figured that one out. The Household Cavalry is equipped with horses. When you see the smart soldiers on their beautifully turned out horses, it might look like a fun job to have, but the soldiers in the mounted regiment have to work hard, twice as hard to do their own work and then to look after their horses. Every day they'll get up at 5.30 in the morning to get ready to exercise their horses between 7 and 10 a.m. After this, the soldiers have to check, fix and polish their equipment because they and their horses must be presented to the highest possible standards on ceremonial occasions. Some of the regiment have very horsey jobs too. There are soldiers who are in charge of shoeing the horses and looking after their health. Other soldiers are riding instructors who train new recruits and new horses as well. It takes a year to train a new horse. They must be steady and calm because no one is allowed to put a hoof out of line on parade. And then there's the soldiers that are in charge of fitting and fixing all the horse furniture, which sounds like it could be tables and chairs, but it's actually the tack saddles and bridles and things like that. The smart tack for ceremonial duties takes three hours to fit and check and so it's important that everything is in great shape. The horses themselves are special. Known as Cavalry Blacks, they're a crossbreed of Irish Blacks and thoroughbred horses. They normally stand well over 16.2 hands tall. They are mostly black with some white markings but these aren't the only horses in the regiment. Officers' horses are all black and horses in the regimental band are even more varied. Soldiers who are trumpeters get grey horses, whilst those who play the large kettle drums ride large Shires and Clydesdales, which can reach 19 hands tall. So next time you see soldiers on ceremony in London, why not see if you can check out the Household Cavalry and their horses? 
Also, check out the Household Cavalry Museum. It's a living museum in the heart of Horse Guards, as well as rare and unique treasures from ceremonial uniform and royal standards. You can get a behind-the-scenes look at troopers working with horses in the original 18th century stables. Find out more about life in the armed forces at funkidslive.com slash armed forces. Catch you next time. Life in the armed forces.